Now, if a person wants to be saved, what do they need to do? Well, they need to, the Bible says, call upon the name of the Lord because that's how we express our faith. You know, faith, you can't see it, can you? So how does faith manifest itself? It manifests itself by words. Now, a lot of people will turn to James 2 and they'll say, well, faith without works is dead. And that's true. Faith without works is dead. But that's not how faith manifests itself. That works is whether faith is alive or if it's dead, not whether it is actually existent and whether or not it, how it manifests itself. The way faith manifests itself is by words. Because how do you know what I believe? It's from what I say, isn't it? So what I say shows what I believe. This is how faith manifests itself. It doesn't manifest itself by works because somebody who's not saved can have works. But like James 2 says, your faith can be made alive. It can be profitable to another person if it has works. Because if you have faith and you don't have works, your words don't do anything to anybody, right? That's why James 2 says that if you say, depart, be warmed and filled, notwithstanding you give them not those things that are needful to the body, what doth it profit? So it's not whether or not your faith is alive or dead, that's works, but you, how does your faith manifest? It manifests through your words. Let's have a look at a couple of verses here. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4, verse 13 and 14. And we can see this, uh, this thought here that our faith is manifested by our words. And this is why when somebody believes on the Lord Jesus Christ, they need to call upon the Lord to express that faith and to call unto the Lord to save them. Verse 13, We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. So we see there in that verse that when you believe on something, you'll speak those words. Uh, Matthew 12, verse 34. Now, this is Jesus talking about the false prophets, the Pharisees, but the principle is still there. He says in verse 34, O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For, because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So again, see, we see faith by words, not by works. <clears throat> um, and Romans 10, let's just go back there. Verse 8, But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. So there's the believing on God's word and the word being in your heart. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. So is that talking about works there? No. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So obeying the gospel is not keeping the commandments and doing works. It's believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So sorry, I read a bit more than and I was planning to read there because those verses are just so great. But we see there in verse 10 that the, with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, there's the faith, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So that's how we express our faith. We speak the words that are coming from our heart. 